Good morning, everybody. First of all, I'd like to thank the organisers and the Tenerife Island Council for allowing me to explain our foundations management model. I'm going to give you this not just from the standpoint of Ateritaco, but also the group of companies promoted by the foundation. Two of these are classed as insertion, insertion company and another one is a standardized one. We're going to focus on the social management of waste, focusing solely used cooking oil or cuco. So Ateritaco the foundation is values. I like to say the full name of the foundation because it gives us a, a clear view of what we are and what we do. Canary Island Foundation for integral uh, training. So we're talking about training and insertion. Training and insertion. We're an independent institution a public institution and non-profit making and that defines us. This is our website and we always work in two areas, They're the social area and the environment. We've been recognized in our 30 years of track record that we're celebrating this year, both by the Red Cross in the social field and also by the Canary Island government who gave us the Cesar Manrique Prize for our environmental work. Our values or principles can see here solidarity, equality, insertion, integration and environment. That's what we work for and that's what we do. It's what we believe in. So let's look at the basic pillars of the foundation. The foundation rests on three basic pillars, as we've said, and we would never cease to repeat this formation, which is prime, social and employment integration, and respect for the environment. This is the path that we've chosen for our work. This is all very fashionable. Everybody's talking about this, but we're always focused on people. I'm not talking about it, our image. We really believe in this, and this is the way we work. We put the person at the center of everything. Despite being a social entity, which is the image that people have there, so maybe this is why, what we want to do is to do it as well as possible and be able to accredit this as well, not just say it, which is why we have the certifications, uh, 14,000, 9,000 in mass, and in this case, for used cooking oil, the ISCC, the International Sustainability Carbon Certification, which ensures the traceability of the oil that we're working with and calculates our, our um, carbon footprint on the environment so we can certify a credit and ensure that everything that we're saying we're actually doing as well. What we offer as a foundation, this is a more social than environmental concept and these are called personalized insertion itineraries with the people who have been excluding or risk of exclusion. In order to organize these itineraries, which are different working stages that we'll see a little bit later on, we need something that sets us apart from everybody else from ordinary training or education that you'd find in any special employment center. And so we have to create real working environments. We, we can do this in the environmental field, and this is what we use for in our social work. Last year, according to our annual report, we dealt with 716 people, 115 of whom have managed to find a job. 115 people who've come out of exclusion and have now taken the state the first step towards dignity, which is their job, and from there they can grow as people. With regard to waste management and focusing exclusively on oil, we have agreements with 19 of the 31 municipalities in the island, and we work with 740 establishments in the Hereka Channel. The way we work, I said that we have customized insertion itineraries, which are divided into three stages. The first of this is collection, and then we have three phases, which should lead us to the final step, which is finding a job. These three stages, the first one is what we call basic training workshops. We do this with a waste, which is clothing, and it which enables us, for the people who work for us, it enables them to acquire basic skills. The second part, which are far more advanced workshops, and these usually focus on projects and programs 
of the Canary Island Employment Service and then the advanced stage is when we give people the chance to work either in our companies or through um, stage or, or practice that they do in companies that have a, an agreement with us. But this isn't the end of it. These are real employment opportunities. If we didn't have our own companies, we would not be able to do this. It, in the foundations, there are two sides to this. One, we have the social side and the environmental side, as I said before. The, on the social side, means that at Tareteco, managers change. Our vocation is towards transformation, social transformation, and environmental trans transformation. We want to change the economy, and we want to change the way we manage it. We do this in the, from the third sector. We're a publicly owned company, but not state owned. We believe in a different economic model, a different model for society that invests the, the ends and the means, either human resources and profit. So in neoliberal capital, the aim is to earn an economic profit. What we do is we talk about people's uh, quality of life for those working for us. And in capitalism, the resources, the human resources, apart from the raw materials that any company would need, but we talk about the economic profit return that we have to get from our environmental activities in order to generate quality of life in people. So we're investing and crossing the means and the end. That's what we try to add as a transforming value of the foundation in the area that we're working in. Okay. Management tools that we use, as I said in the introduction, this is a foundation that has three companies. Two of these companies are classed as insertion capitals according to law 144 of 2007. These offer people a chance for, to work for three years before they feel socially and professionally qualified to join the normal work market, labor market. Ekatar does triage and management of West. We work in the Arico environmental complex, but we also manage a series of resources, sorry, different kinds of waste, such as used vegetable oil. Last year, we managed 758 tons of used oil. The, electronic and electric apparatus, 670 tonnes, clothing, 140 tonnes, and miscellaneous or hazardous or miscellaneous waste, 162 tonnes. So it's just under 2,000 tonnes a year, but this is quite a significant amount. This generates two kinds of profits, as we say. One are environmental benefits, and on the other hand, we have social benefits. We're going to break each of these down very briefly so that we can see them. From an environmental point of view, we, we recycle a highly polluting in, um, element. As the chairman said, that this is vital for the whole island. We eliminate uh, smells and blocked drains. We make wastewater treatment cheaper. It's easier to treat the water to reuse it. It reduces the proliferation of microorganisms. Or we have the potential to generate biofuel and we reduce our, the dependence on importing energies. So it's all benefits. We recycle, there are less bother, lower costs, we reuse the water, less infections. We can generate biofuels and it also makes us less energy dependent. These benefits, so that in the end we'll have a clear idea of the take-home message of this presentation. When we talk about water consumption, we're not polluting or we prevent the pollution of the consumption of the entire population of El Hierro for one population. Last year, with this was from 450 tons, but we're now talking about 800 tons. So we're not talking about the consumption of one year for El Hierro, but a year and a half. With regard to the electronic um, material and the clothing, We've taken out of circulation 2,750 cars a year, or the equivalent, or to offset the um, logging of 802,000 trees. So this is to translate our work into parameters that you will all understand. Having seen the environmental benefits, let's have a look at the social benefits now. This is very close to the keynote speech that we heard. 
we can create jobs, we can make profits, and it's sustainable. It's sustainable. Last year, this line of work of one of the companies in the factory had a turnover of 520,000 euros. We've worked with 19 um, local councils and many clients from the Areca things, and we've generated a profit of 31,000 profit. This is our contribution, a 6% contribution. So, this lovely slide here, we can make this sustainable, profitable, and it's good social work. In our case, to close, in this line, we have 10 employees, four in shops, four in logistics, and two in the plant. Five of these people are in, five of these jobs are insertion jobs. These are people that are referred to us from social services there are many different classifications. There might be people who come out of jail, or it might be people who get the, um, the basic aid from the, the state. It could be victims of gender violence. There are different kinds of people that are half of our staff, and we're talking about 50 people all together, and five in this particular line of business are classed this way. They're exactly the same as the other employees. Very often, they give us major value added. This picture, the message of here is we can generate 10 jobs, provide jobs for five people who really, really need it. And of this five, 80% will find a job. So our average is to find jobs for four people a year. So in summary of what we do in the foundation, and we are here to provide inclusion and to look after the environment and people. Thank you very much.